Andre Schmidt of Rochester first met his wife Sherry 17 years ago. So, which happened to be the very same day that was he decided to get clean and sober. That was the last time that I had ever used drugs and alcohol. I looked over at Sherry and I said, I'm done. Uh, I'm never going to use drugs and alcohol again, but I can't do it alone. It was very unexpected how it all happened, but Sherry uh, got clean 23 years ago, seven years before meeting Andre. I had told him he was my dream guy. Together, and with their faith in God, they have been blessed with nearly 16 years of marriage, three children, and more recently, something called God's Garage. This here is God's Garage. This is exciting and awesome because it was a dream of my wife's for probably about 25 years now and a dream of mine for about 18 years. God's Garage uh, is a place for uh, Christian bands to come and rock out and have fun and do it sober. Our original dream for building this was um, inspired by right in the mush having our favorite Christian heavy metal band of all times come and play here. So my and my wife's favorite band is Disciple, and they rock. According to Disciple's website, the band has recorded more than 10 albums and had 14 number one hits. In Christian music circles, they're kind of a big deal. And he told me a year and a half ago, he's like, man, I'd love to have Disciple come here and play. It's always been my big dream after I got sober. And he brought that up. I'm like, yeah, well, good luck with that, you know. But like, promoter Ken Quatran reached out to the band anyway. I share with him Andre's testimony. They were blown away by his testimony and how the band influenced his sobriety. And they're all in. Which brings us to this day the day one of the most popular Christian heavy metal bands in the country was scheduled to play. Bring this case out, I know they'll need that. In this well-appointed man cave, slightly larger than a three-car garage. The band's bus showed up on time, and so did the local forecast. But eventually, the rains passed. One, two, three, go! The volunteers repositioned the pool table to a corner of the building. All right, wait, 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 wait. And room was made for another blessing in the lives of Andre and Sherry, a blessing they shared with about 40 to 50 of their closest friends. I love getting wild and crazy and having a good time and you can totally do that with Jesus and who knew, right? Earlier that day, I asked both Sherry and Andre if they were surprised Disciple had agreed to play in God's Garage. Their answers put the entire experience into perspective. I was surprised, but I was also surprised when I met my dream husband and surprised when I had kids when they told me that I maybe couldn't have kids and surprised when I became a teacher and you know got my master's degree and surprised when all those things happened so I mean anything's possible with God, the sky's the limit. I have to put myself aside and allow the Lord to work and this is built for his ministry so you know he's making it happen. 